I was in my office, and this is a while back, uh, some years ago, I was in my office, and we got a call from an individual who said, listen, uh, I've come across your name, Andre, in this market, and uh, I'm about to launch something that uh, is going to have a significant impact on the market. He told me what it was, he told me the, the product, and he said, do you have time to have lunch? And I said, uh, yeah, I'd love to do that. He said, what about now? He happened to be in the area. <laughs> His office was not that long away. We had lunch and we began to talk about the market that, that I was in and he was entering. And I was really fascinated by this individual because this is a guy who would go into markets and the way he would describe approaching a market is he would essentially go in and identify all the key players identify the key decision makers, identify the people who were movers and shakers, identifying the people who were well financed, who were poorly financed, the people with um, some kind of objective they wanted to accomplish, people who were dissatisfied. He would just work a market and fully understand it. And then he would understand how those people stack up, and he would actually map it out. And then he would take this information and he would, he would methodically um, go into this market and decide what he was going to offer, how he was going to offer it, and he would ultimately be a key player and dominate the market. And he would figure out how he could uh, build relationships with the people who were most influential. It was a fascinating thing as we were talking about this. And it reminded me of some of the things that I used to do in tackling corporate relationships, doing big deals, these sorts of things, but I hadn't thought about it quite as systematically as he did. And I realized that what I had learned in my own efforts in doing this was a, a system that could be used, and in fact, I, I started to teach uh, this uh, something I call a big deal system on how to execute big deals with uh, corporations and large organizations and municipalities and uh, organizations and so forth. But what I'm emphasizing here to you is the importance of being thorough when it comes to tackling a market, an industry, a company, uh, a movement, it's going in and not just looking at one individual and and of course you're going to knock on doors and there's going to be people there're going to be people who aren't going to respond to you they're not going to pay attention to you but if you begin to circle the industry and really begin to understand it you will start to have an impact and you will be surprised at how far you get as you pursue this methodically almost like a reporter or a journalist would in tackling the market when I was in the sports business, and actually I'll say to you that this fellow who contacted me was venturing into a form of the sports business, that's what we did. We methodically went into sports teams, leagues, media, um, connected with athletes, connected with everybody at every level so that we could figure out where to place our efforts and our focus going forward. And we would uncover information that would enable us to understand, okay, so this is how this works, and this is how this works, and this is how this works. Which is why when we went out and looked for partnership, partnerships, we were in such a great position because we had done so much homework. So do your homework when it comes to uh, any kind of situation where you're trying to tackle uh, something like a big market or a big company or a big industry. Now this is important as a sales professional, it's important as an entrepreneur, it's important as a person who wants joint ventures and affiliates, as a person particularly if you're new in an industry. This is really crucial when you're new in an industry because you have a lot to learn and you really have to understand how it works. You'd be surprised at what would happen if you took an industry or you took a company or you took a market and you methodically went through it and said, look, I'm going to learn everybody about everybody who offers this particular product. I'm going to learn the pricing of every company in this market. I'm going to understand the contractual approach that they take. 
I'm going to understand the differences in their products. I'm going to understand who the key players are. I'm going to understand who the newbies are in the marketplace. I'm going to understand the international players. That's how you learn a market, how you learn an industry, and how you can ultimately dominate a market. I want you to think about that in your business. Think about what is it that you should know that you don't know because you haven't looked at it like you're trying to really understand every player in the market. That you haven't turned over every rock and turned over all the soil and figured out what's underneath and how it works. And who are the real players and how does this really happen? When you start to look at your markets that way, in that methodical way, with the idea of getting to know everyone, understanding who the players are, understanding who, what the events are, and, and just who's pushing what buttons, that's when you'll find big opportunity. And that's when you'll uncover things that your competitors just don't understand because you're so narrowly focused. You have to go broad and you have to understand that there's a broad market out there with broad opportunity. And while you may be interested in a specific area, you have to understand more than that area in order to be a player and to be effective in that market. This is a strategy for doing bigger deals. This is a strategy for entering new markets. This is a strategy for new product development, um, for go-to-market go to strategy. This is a strategy to understand things in ways that you wouldn't typically because you're so narrowly focused. So go, go big, go broad, go deep, and make sure you understand the markets that you're playing in so that you can be more effective and you can seize greater opportunity. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Uh, share it with someone in your network, maybe someone who's looking to tackle a new market and do some interesting things. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. You can do that by clicking the icon with my photo and make sure you come back because I have a lot more coming. I'll see you next time.